Hello everyone and welcome back to the TCEC, the Top Chess Engine competition. Uh, this is uh, the Super Finals 100 games match between Lila Chess Zero and Stockfish. And we have covered a few games from this event. Uh, feel free to check them out if you haven't. And uh, while we were busy uh, enjoying our Capablanca saga, uh, Stockfish equalized uh, uh, in score and uh, this is now game 86. So after 85 games, uh, the score is a tie. Uh, in the previous game, uh, Stockfish played uh, with the white pieces in this exact same line. As you all know, uh, the openings are uh, predefined. So first Leela will have a certain opening with the white pieces. Then Stockfish has the, the exact same opening with the white pieces to see uh, how each of them fares uh, in different openings. Uh, and it, it's a very interesting game. I'm sure you'll enjoy it as it features one of the most exciting lines of the, of the King's Indian Samish. And uh, well... Without further ado, let's just check it out. Uh, Lila says, has the white pieces. As we've said, we have d4, knight to f6, c4, g6, uh, knight to c3. And as we already mentioned, uh, the king's Indian defense is on the board. We have e4, d6, the, this is the standard line, f3, the Samish variation now. Uh, we have castles, uh, bishop to e3, and now e5. We have d5 by white, grabbing more space in the center, and now knight to h5. Preparing f5. Uh, but also in some lines uh, preparing this queen to h4 check. Uh, queen to d2, and now this is one of those lines where we do have queen to h4 check. And uh, this line has been played many times between human players as well. And black, uh, white has uh, several options here. Qu uh, king d1 is an option, bishop to f2 blocking is an option, then the queen will just retreat. But the bishop will be somewhat misplaced here. There will be no bishop to h6 ideas with exchanging of the dark square bishop. Uh, so g3. Uh, this is, has all been pre predefined. Uh, knight captures on g3. Now, of course, you cannot capture because you lose the rook on h1. Uh, but queen to f2. And now uh, you could uh, try something like knight f5. So the knight would defend the queen on h4. But white would simply, ca sorry, not that. Uh, white would simply capture the knight on f5, and uh, white would be up a piece. So here, white, uh, uh, black actually captures two pieces and two pawns for a queen. We have knight captures on f1. Queen captures on h4 and knight captures on e3. So grabbing both of the bishops. Uh, and here we have king to e2. Uh, making room for this rook to come into the game. Also the queen can now uh, retreat. We have queen to e1. But also it pushes the knight back. We have knight captures on c4. And now uh, again this exact same position has been reached uh, numerous times uh, between human players. Uh, and here knight to h3 was uh, the main move and this is exactly what stockfish played when stockfish had the white pieces uh, in this line against Leela. and then the game continued knight captures rook b1 and so on and so on and stockfish uh, drew that game where stockfish had the white pieces against Leela chess zero here after knight captures on c4 uh, Leela doesn't go for this uh, line that is mostly used Leela goes queen to e1 and this is a new move in this position already on move 13 uh, so let's see how, how this unwinds. We have f5 by Stockfish, uh, h4 now by Leela, and now f captures on e4. Uh, we have knight captures on e4 and c6 now. Seems like weakening of the d6 pawn, but for the moment you cannot take advantage of it. With, for example, b3, you want to kick the defender of the d6 pawn, uh, but uh, black will not move it. Black will just capture here. And you still cannot capture the knight defense, captures, captures, uh, and here uh, black would just be better. Pawn captures, bishop g4, black will get some very nice development, knight is coming to c6 to d4, uh, the other rook is coming into the game as well. So black will just be, just be better here. So after c6, we have queen to d1. Now, perhaps if this is captured and the knight is kicked away, the queen will also be eyeing the d6 pawn. And also queen to b3 might not be a, a bad opportunity for the queen to go to. Uh, we have bishop to d7, and now not immediately going for this, like we mentioned, because knight captures and b3 runs into knight d4 check, uh, which simply delivers check and blocks the queen's attack towards the d6 pawn. So here, first king to, king to f2 by Lila. Uh, now comes bishop to f5, and now knight g3. Uh, knight captures on b2, attacks the queen. Queen b3 attacks the, both knight and the b6 pawn, uh, but Stockfish has everything calculated as the bishop guards d3. First knight d3 check, king g2, and now comes knight to c5, attacking the queen, but also defending the b7 pawn. Queen back to d1, and now bishop back to d7. Uh, black wants to keep an eye on this pawn. If white ever does capture here, black wants this bishop to be on this diagonal, slicing all the way to g2. Uh, 
Uh, and here, yeah, okay, if you play this, then like we said, uh, there will simply be too much pressure along along this uh, line. Uh, e even if the queen captures, there's still knight here. The, the knight is coming into the game. For example, rook d1, now e4, busting open the, this little uh, bit of king's defenses that's left. Uh, f captures, knight captures, you could go knight captures, bishop captures with check, attacks the rook. Uh, king h2, and now rook a e8. Uh, will be uh, simply too much for for uh, whites to handle. Bishop to e5 is the idea of winning the queen, but even if the queen moves, this check will be devastating. Uh, and so on and so on, black would be winning here. So here, there's no time to go for this d6 weakness yet. h5 by Lila. Uh, we have knight b to a6, now finally making room for this rook to enter the game. Rook to c1, and now rook to f6. Uh, instead of just bringing the rook into the game, uh, we have uh, the idea of doubling rooks along the e df file, which makes sense. Uh, we have knight 1 to e2, and now rook a to f8, stockfish doubles uh, on the f file. Uh, and now you have to defend the f3 pawn, so first h6, uh, kicking the bishop back, and now the rook is no longer needed on h1, rook to f1. Uh, we have g5 by stockfish and now king to g1 and here rook captures on h6 grabbing that pawn uh, knight to e4 uh, and now rook to f7 uh, we have knight 2 to c3 uh, and here we have rook to g6 uh, we have d captures on c6 finally bishop captures on c6 and now rook to c2 uh, we have bishop to g7 and now rook to d2. Now putting pressure against the d6 pawn. Uh, so bishop to f8. Now the bishop helps out, but it uh, doesn't really matter. Lila now finally grabs it. Knight captures on d6 and now rook to f4. Uh, with the ideas of bishop to a4 uh, attacking the queen. Uh, we have knight to e2 attacking the rook. Uh, but now first uh, an in-between move. Bishop to a4 attacking the queen and queen e1. And here, finally, bishop captures on d6, knight captures here, and g captures on f4 with check. King to h1, and now comes bishop to c7. No, the bishop is no longer a target, but also covers uh, the, the d8 and d6 square, and the knight covers c7, so there are no uh, possible rook lifts uh, here. Uh, and here we have rook to uh, rook to h2. Uh, Lila's idea is something like uh, uh, maybe queen to h4 with some with some pressure along the h file. Uh, and Stockfish, of course, uh, has the bishop pair, which is the most important part. Uh, when this bishop finally lands back on c6, it will be uh, an incredible piece. And on the other hand. Uh, uh, Lila doesn't really have all that many pawns. F3 is gonna fall soon, and then after Lila places all of, uh, after Stockfish places all of the pieces to uh, the optimal squares, uh, you're not, you don't really have anything to kick him away from those squares. Uh, we have Knight to d7, uh, Rook to g1, and now comes Bishop finally to c6. Uh, you know, taking over this diagonal. Uh, Rook captures on g6, H captures, and now. Uh, yes, you do want to prevent uh, the f3 pawn from being captured, but you also don't want to waste time. If you can get queen to h4 and maybe get the queen up there, then maybe white has something. So Lila went for queen to h4 immediately. Uh, but let's see what happens if you first try something like rook to h3. Defend the f3 pawn and only then go queen h4 and then try to create some sort of an attack. Uh, then you get e4 and black is just too fast. Uh, queen to h4, now comes e captures on f3 with the threat of f2 discovered check from the bishop. Queen h8 check, black will have to allow a couple of checks, king f7, uh, rook to h7 check, king to e6, now comes queen to g8 check and now queen to, uh, king to f6. Rook to f7 check, king g5 and now... Uh, there are no more checks here, no more useful checks here, well, at least. Uh, so here, white would have to go for rook captures on d7, hoping for bishop captures and queen here check. Uh, but white, would, black would just ignore white. Uh, f2 check. Uh, no, there's an, no way to st stop the promotion. F1 is coming, so you would have to block with check. Uh, bishop to e5 now, blocking this check, uh, but also not allowing the rook to capture it because the rook is pinned. Uh, king g2, now finally the king can prevent uh, the pawn from queening, uh, but now just knight b4 attacks the rook and the black it will be just up too much material. For example, queen d8 check, you could go king g4, queen c8 check, you could go king h4, queen h3 check, 
king g5 and now finally you will have to capture the pawn here uh, but after knight captures you you just have a bishop a bishop and a knight uh, against the queen and the black is up three pawns this will be completely winning for black so there is in fact no time for rook to h3 uh, a preparation move before queen to h4 so lila goes queen to h4 immediately allows bishop captures on f3 we have king g1 and now bishop uh, to b6 check uh, king has to go to f1 and now comes bishop to h5 the bishop now also uh, prevents any counterplay lila might have had in mind uh, queen to e7 attacking the knight here but now comes knight to c5 finally the knight returns uh, from the edge of the board and defends uh, his, his uh, you know colleague uh, rook to f2 uh, and now comes knight to f8 uh, we have queen captures on e5 stockfish gives up uh, one one pawn here to activate the knight uh, on better squares we have knight f2 e6 uh, we have a4 here and now comes bishop to c7 uh, attacking the queen uh, queen d5 and now comes bishop uh, to g4 uh, and now it's uh, pretty much clear what stockfish is doing uh, stockfish will want to push f3 at some point uh, get that bishop all the way to g3 and deliver the final blow bishop to h3 so we have rook to c2 now with ideas of rook captures uh, lila would be very much interested in giving up this rook for two knights uh, but first the bishop to h3 check king e2 and now comes b6 of course defending the knight on c5 uh, queen a8 check we have king to f7 and now queen captures on a7 and now just king to f6 unpinning uh, and also you want to bring the king as close as possible uh, to to where all the action is uh, we have a5 here uh, a very nice idea as now if pawn captures then again rook captures on c5 becomes a possibility uh, but we have bishop to f5 check attacking the, uh, not check it's just bishop to f5 attacking the rook and now if the rook moves just b captures uh, on a5 will be very nice as the rook is no longer on the c file so here we have rook captures on c5 lila finally goes for this uh you cannot capture with the knight you have to capture with the pawn uh because the bishop would be lost so here uh, we have b captures on c5 okay at least now lila has a very nice passed pawn uh but now queen to, queen to a8 we have bishop to g4 check king to f1 and now comes f3 and now you see what uh, stockfish has accomplished the idea is bishop to g3 followed by bishop to h3 and it's all over uh here we have queen to h8 check by lila and now uh, it's a very nice check uh, because if king to f5 then lila has uh, enough resources to draw this game if king f5 then a6 uh bishop to g3 not preparing uh, bishop to h3 but okay you cannot do it while the queen is still here uh, so a7, uh, knight to c7, and now comes a8 queen. And now after knight captures, you don't want to capture the knight because you can't allow, can't allow bishop to h3 check. But queen to c8 check will allow Lila to deliver, a, uh, you know, continuously start del delivering a perpetual. Uh, for example, king g5, you could go queen d8 check. King h5, you could go queen h8 check. King here, queen uh, can go back. Queen d8 check. Uh, king f5 and just uh, continue checking queen f8 uh, the king can never come to f4 because here you would just deliver queen b8 check and pick up the bishop on g3 then black no longer has an attack if you go uh, to, the, to a light square then the knight is picked off with check and the white continues just checking uh, so a very nice check queen to h8 check but uh, stockfish does not have problem calculating all the lines so king g5 instead of f5 and now the the same idea no, lo no longer applies uh, we have a6 by lila similar but not quite the same bishop to g3 now stockfish plan is not bishop h3 uh, but uh, <clears throat> sorry about that going about it from the other side uh, bishop f5 to d3 check uh, we have a7 now comes bishop to f5 and here you don't have time uh, to bring a queen into the game because of bishop to d3 uh, this is check uh, g1 f2 check now comes king g2 and now queen to f1 check you will capture queen f4 check and after the king moves a bishop e4 picks off the queen uh and uh, black will be left uh, up two pawns and end the piece a completely winning end game for black uh so after this bishop to f5 we have queen to h1 by lila uh but it doesn't help bishop to d3 check by stockfish we have king to g1 and now knight d4 again if uh, you bring a queen into the game then you get this beautiful beautiful checkmate knight e2 check uh, king f1 and now comes knight f4 uh, a discovered check from the bishop on d3 also the bishop is covering e1 uh, you would have to move back and now f2 is checkmate and look at this white has two queens and uh, sorry about that white has two queens and black is just uh, you know 
so 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 uh, so outplayed white with with the two bishops the knight and the pawn the delivered checkmate uh, i might even use this as as a thumbnail uh so uh, after knight to d4 we have Queen to h2, Lila now offers a queen, but uh, there's very little point to it, uh, covering the knight e2 check, but Stockfish doesn't care. Bishop captures, uh, we have uh, king to f2 now blocking the pawn, and now comes king to f4. Uh, and here Lila just played queen to e1, and both Lila and Stockfish agreed that, that there was no more, no more point in playing this game. Uh, that devaluation is just too great in in Stockfish's favor. Uh, but again, if you bring a queen into the game, uh, it's a it, it's a similar idea. Bishop g3 check, king g1, uh, f2 check, uh, king g2, and now comes uh, queen to a uh, pawn to f1 queen, and this is now checkmate. Uh, so yeah, uh, on move 64, very interesting. Uh, that's a very very nice number in in the chess world. Uh, Lila chess zero resigned the game, and Stockfish is now uh, on game 86, one point in the lead. Uh, so Lila has 14 more games to equalize, at least equalize this match, if not, uh, you know, planning to win it. Uh, so it will be intense uh, all, all the way. And it's very interesting. Will now uh, this uh, this line uh, uh, e5, uh, you know, queen h4 check, uh, maybe this uh, uh, become popular now uh, <laughs> with the black pieces as uh, Stockwich has defeated Lila with the black pieces and Sto and uh, Lila was able to. Uh, draw the game uh, against Stockfish with the black pieces here. So it seems like black can either win or draw here, never lose. Uh, but it's interesting in the database when humans play this, uh, humans mostly win with white here. So I guess, you know, uh, humans just aren't all that all that uh, great in positions like these. Uh, but yeah, uh, who knows, it might give, give the line some new win. We'll see what happens. I don't think so, but you never know. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that's the game. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. I would like to thank uh, Valid Alvadi, uh, Louis Beaumet, uh, Anton, Bakla Anton Baklanov, uh, Wesley Santelus, and Joseph Kupreshanin for your uh, contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon, uh, most likely continuing the Capablanca saga. I think I will uh, definitely upload uh, one more game today uh, from the 1914 uh, St. Petersburg uh, tournament. Uh, thank you all, and I'll see you soon.